Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, indeed. We are picking up with day four of our Divine Direction devotional in the Bible app. There's a link to that in the description if you guys want to follow along with us. I'm laughing because there's a lot of D's there. there. Divine <laughs> Direction devotional description, everything. Yes. I'm trying so hard not to fumble my words. You did a great job. I'm trying. Thank you. I developed a detailed... Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Anyways, <laughs> there's a link to that in the description if you guys want to follow along with us. And as always, I'm going to read the scripture. Then Tori's going to pick up with the Devo. Let's do it. The scripture is Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. And they say this, The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram departed as the Lord had instructed, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. The devotional is titled, Go, and it says this. Do you sense something new happening in your life? Do you want something different? Even if you don't feel it now, it's always a good idea to keep your heart prepared for change because it's a guarantee. We've talked about start, stop, and stay. But sometimes the best decision you can make in finding God's direction is go. Often we're called to stand our ground when the pressure mounts, but many times we need to take a risk. Do you feel restless where you are? God may have planted a divine desire in you to serve him in some surprising way. Maybe he's inspired you with a specific group of people, an idea, a problem, or a place. Maybe he's calling you to go. Follow that hunch and see where it takes you. Embrace the adventure. The best way to make a leap of faith is to get a good running start. There's a great story in the Old Testament about Abram and Sarai later renamed Abraham and Sarah, that illustrates go perfectly. In Genesis 12, God spoke to Abram. At the time, Abram was living in a town called Haran, but he was from a city called Ur. Back in Abram's hometown of Ur, the people worshipped a false moon god. What's significant is that the one true God chose to reveal himself to Abram. God gave Abram a very simple and direct command. Walk away from everything you've ever known. Leave your country, your people, and your father's household and go to the land I will show you. Leave and go. To step toward your destiny, you may have to step away from your security. To go somewhere else, you have to leave where you are. You have to leave what's known, what's comfortable, what's predictable, and what's easy. To step toward your destiny, you may have to step away from your security. Who knows where God will take your story if you just let him. One day, years from now, you'll look back on your life and see the whole story. What's it going to be? I feel like God was calling me, but I was afraid, so I did nothing. Or will you have a faith-filled adventure to tell? The difference is whether or not you go when God says go. Yeah, if it's okay, I'll share kind of a, like an intimate personal story to me. I don't know if I've shared this on YouTube before um, or in, in any capacity like online, but this was, I think in 2017, it was April and I was living in New York City and I was beyond defeated I was heartbroken getting out of a hard relationship breakup. I had a job, but I wasn't making any money. And so my identity that I had wrapped up my work was constantly being attacked. Mm -hmm. I had to move into an apartment that I was, I didn't, this sounds weird. I didn't feel safe in it. I actually, I found these guys on Craigslist and it turns out that you should not do that. (laughs) And um, I don't recommend doing that, but it just seems like my whole life was falling apart. And all I wanted to do was honor the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea why he wasn't speaking. I was getting so frustrated. I was like, God, like, here I am, send me. Mm -hmm. I just want to serve you. 
I want to do what you want me to do, but I don't know what you want me to do. And I'm getting really frustrated. Mm -hmm. I just felt pent up. I felt anxious. Restless. And yeah, I felt restless. And I didn't know, do I stay or do I go? Mm -hmm. And there's, there is encouragement in this. Just stick with me. I got to this point where I was so depressed. I was just like, God, like, I just don't want to even be around anymore. I'm sure you all can perceive what I'm saying. And I, I wrote that in my prayer journal and I was just like, I don't know what I'm so defeated. I don't know what to do. And then the next morning I woke up and I, I felt bad about what I'd written in my journal to the Lord. And I just said like, God, I, I journaled this. I, I literally said, God, it's not you. It's me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then I was just, I was reminded of that song that was really popping at the time, like good, good father, you know? And I, re- I was reminded that a good father would not give bad things to his son. Mm-hmm. And he sustained me in those moments. And I remember I was like, all right, you're going to have to steer this moving ship because yeah. I'm going to take a step of faith. Yeah. And my encouragement to you all is if you're feeling that prompting that you should go, feel free to test the water. Yeah. Feel free to do what Peter did and stick mm-hmm. your foot outside of that boat on the water yeah. and see if God s- establishes that step. That's what scripture says. For a man plans the steps, but God will establish them. Yeah. See if that door is open. And by the way, this is over like, you know, a pretty dramatic time in my life. Yeah. But literally I went to my church's office just to get some quiet time because my apartment, I didn't want to be there. Mm-hmm. And I started researching something and I made one phone call. And with that one phone call, I not only had an apartment to stay in for several months, not only did I have a car to use for free, Mm -hmm. but I got the answers that I needed of where I'm supposed to go. And I moved 20 days later from New York City to Los Angeles, California. I remember this. And it was such a period of my life where I was like, oh my word, he like, he established those steps and Mm -hmm. I followed his direction. But it started with me getting over myself and saying, okay, God, I'm going to test this here. I'm going to, I'm going to see if this is what you're saying to make sure it's not my own uh, desires projecting them on you and saying, yeah. oh, this is what God's called me to do. Because one of the most dangerous things that we can do is project our own pride and will on God and say that that's what God right. said I should do. You yeah. see it all the time where someone says, God told me I'm supposed to marry that person. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, did he really? And we have to be yeah. careful with those things. That's yeah. why it's important to test it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's just my encouragement that when it comes to seasons of go, mm-hmm. I actually do have one more thing to say. Is, is that okay? It. Yeah. The thing I was going to say is that after I became a believer in college, I felt like I was supposed to move Mm -hmm. and I did so freely. And then I had an opportunity to start modeling and I moved back across the nation. I started modeling, but then I started earning money. Mm -hmm. And then whenever my agent said, Chad, you need to move to Europe. You need to go there for a year. Uh I felt such a big hesitation to follow where I felt like I was supposed to go Mm -hmm. because now I had something to lose. And so one of the biggest things that kept me back previously from actually making steps moving forward mm-hmm. was that it was fear mm-hmm. and it was the fear of what will happen to me if I, yeah. if I fall. And so it was things stripping me down. And it makes me think of the story of Elisha being given the mantle to be the prophet of the Lord. Yeah. He went and and burnt his previous job. There's a lot yeah. there. He went and burnt all the stuff mm-hmm. And basically was like, okay, I'm saying bye to my old life. He burnt the bridge to walk back and he followed God into where he's going. So that's another thing is we have to make sure that we're not staying where we are just because of fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so good. We should never allow fear to dictate our decisions, Mm -hmm. but truly be led by the peace of the Lord. And I feel like this has happened a a ton in my life as well, but I want to go back to this story and remind you guys that Abram was 75 years old. Like, I feel like it's so much easier to start over, to do something new when you're like younger in your twenties, thirties, you know, it's like, especially if you're single, like it's, it's different because you don't feel like as planted as, as rooted as grounded, but like Y'all, he was 75 years old. His life was established. He had roots in this town. And he wasn't even like a, a Christian. He didn't follow the one true God. Yes. And like the fact that he was willing to go to a land he did not yet know. Mm-hmm. Like you guys, we live in a day and age, like 
we can just fly somewhere. We can check it out. We can look around. Yep. Like we can, we can kind of wrap our heads around it. But think about the faith mm-hmm. that that took for him to hear that from the Lord and remember that God was doing this so that others would be blessed because it's of so his good. faith. And so I want to remind you that if God is calling you to go, that faith is what should propel you Ooh. and the remembrance that this is not only going to impact your life, but it could bless others as well. Like I remember when I felt like God was calling me to California, that I needed to leave and I needed to go. And I just know that that season was so sweet. And there is so many people that I had no idea would become so important to my life that I love so dearly and will love for the rest of my life because of that yes. And so I think remembering that if God is calling you to something, it is not only to bless your life, but also to bless the life of others. Amen to that. Yeah. That's good. You ready to pray sent out? I am. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your divine direction. Father, we pray against fear that would uh, take us out from what you are trying to accomplish in and through us, God. Would you increase our faith today? Would you give us clarity? Father, would you give us your peace, a peace that surpasses all earthly understanding, but a peace that is truly and only from you father we thank you for the plans that you have for our life and we thank you that you want to use us to further your kingdom what an absolute honor father i pray that we never take that for granted we pray these things in jesus name amen amen god amen god amen y'all and now's that perfect time to break out the worship music break out the journal and continue pressing to lord yes and y'all don't forget that you are god's masterpiece and don't forget that we love you we love you guys and we're talking to you tomorrow later gator